Today on the channel, we're not clowning around. There's a nuclear meltdown in Jack's Class Superstars Series 19 with Adam Bomb and Doink the Clown. The spirit of the warrior will run forever. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Jax Class Superstars unboxing and review. And today from Series 19, we've got Doink the Clown, and we've got Adam Bomb. But for all your wrestling figure needs, current day needs, I should say, hit up Ringside Collectibles, use discount code KYLE, save yourself 10%. Gotta get a deal out there, as you guys know. So Series 19 rolls on with Adam Bomb and Doink the Clown. Two staples of uh, early 90s WWF, of course, into the, the new generation era, of course, of the WWF at the time. And uh, we just most recently, depending when you're watching this, as I'm filming this in August of 2022, right when we got our new generation arena with our ultimate Doink the Clown. So funny to open up another Doink the Clown so soon after, but it is what it is. Uh, but definitely cool to get Doink the Clown in the Classic Superstars line. We actually got him three times in the line, which might be a little bit overkill, but one that we didn't get very often until most recently is Adam Bomb. Adam Bomb is first figure basically since his Hasbro. We had not had a figure since Hasbro of Adam Bomb. Uh, very, very cool to get this in the Class Superstars line. This figure holds up to this day, I still feel. Uh, however, now 2022, Adam Bomb Mania running wild again. We've got Major Bendies from him. We've got Chella Retro figures figures. I think we got two out currently uh, with more on the way. So it's a little bit of a renaissance for old Adam Bomb out there. And always thought it was a really cool gimmick, uh, but maybe the gimmick is what saddled him a little bit much. But uh, it is what it is. Uh, history is history. Uh, but one of the big dudes of wrestling, especially 90s wrestling, uh, that I feel like we're missing in today's day and age a little bit. I don't know. I don't know where all those big guys have went, I guess, to the NFL. Who knows? Uh, we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it we're gonna see where it goes from there however we won't have to unbox adam bomb as i already have him loose in my collection but let's start with adam bomb let's start looking at him one of the most expensive figures in the classic superstar series just because there hasn't been a lot of adam bomb figures until fairly recently for him so uh, that does make sense but there he is looking really good there he does come with some goggles that's his accessory of course the adam bomb goggles uh, maybe a little bit too small. He should have been maybe a little bit more jacked up, but uh, still looks like a really great figure, and it's a figure that can blend in with your Mattels if you're into that kind of thing. Adam Bomb on the side. A little glamour shot there without the goggles, of course. The goggles are removable. And on the back, you got the cross sell for Series 19. Warnings, UPCs. We got the blur. We got the glamour shot. We got the tail of the tape. It's all back there. Let's see what it says about our old buddy Adam Bomb. Debuted 1991, 290 pounds, six foot six is his height. Finishing move, of course, the meltdown. Titles, World Tag Team Champion. Not quite in the Adam Bomb persona, though, uh, as we all do know. But we got Adam Bomb here, gonna put him off to the side, and we got Adam Bomb all out of the package, ready to go. Like I said, a fabulous figure here. You got the red, the yellow, the black. You got the Adam Bomb specific knee pads, uh, the gloved hands. Just really, really cool. Just screams 1990s, too. Got the old Adam Bomb tattoo on the side. The goggles, like I said, are removable. You can slip them up or put them down. Uh, definitely looks like Brian Clark to me all day long. Once again, we do get the tongue out uh, head sculpt here. As I've said before, I'm not a fan of a lot of them. This one doesn't really do it for me either. I would have liked to see something different, but he did stick the tongue out from time to time, so I guess it is warranted. Uh, but it's tough to get a figure to look really good with the tongue out. In rare occasions, it does work for certain performers. Some performers doesn't really work with. This Adam Bomb, for whatever reason, doesn't work for me as well, but it is still a good-looking figure. It is still one I like a whole lot. Uh, Articulation-wise, of course, these are going to be the same articulation-wise. we got the shoulders go all the way around. You do got a bicep cut, single-jointed elbows, back and forth, side-to-side side on the hands, Waist side to side, head side to side, a little bit limited by his hair sculpt, of course. Uh, you get the legs that go up about that much, back about the same. Single jointed knees, ankles up and down, and that's all you get. And that's all you really need in the Classic Superstars era. But man, a good, good figure. I can't wait, and I hope we do truly get an uncensored version of Adam Bomb in the future. Uh, one of a more Mattel scale, because he really does need an update. And he is very toyetic, as they say in the old business. Uh, definitely translates well to the action figure form as Adam Bomb. 
The more Adam Bombs, the better. And it does seem Adam Bomb does own his own likeness since we're getting all these figures as Adam Bomb outside of the WWE. So, very cool figure. One of the best in the Class Superstars line. A bit of a deep cut, but man, I'm here for that one all day long, as we always say. So, Adam Bomb in the Classics line looking good. Now, we turn our attention to a guy that I just talked about, Doink the Clown. We just got an ultimate version of Doink the Clown. One of the best ultimates of all time in Mattel's land. Uh, but it was cool in Jax. We got three of them. Like I said, three might have been a little overkill. Uh, but we did get a one here in Series 19. A little bit different twist on old Doink the Clown. Uh, but there he is in the package there. Of course, he does have his tag team title belt, which is very strange because Doink never had the tag team title. So I don't know what's going on and what the reasoning for that is. Always kind of blows our mind. But as some people would say, that's so Jax, I guess. Uh, there he is on the side, looking good. And you got Doink on the side here. Now, there is a variant edition here where instead of just saying Doink, it says Evil Doink. And it seems like Evil Doink came after the original Doink figure. So uh, look out for that, I guess, if you're in the market. On the back, got Series 19 Cross Sell. We'll be unboxing them all on the channel, as you guys know. UPCs, warnings, tail of the tape, the blurb, and the glamour shot for Doink. Let's see what it says about Doink. There's a lot to read here. Doink, 240 pounds, height six feet tall, finishing move, the whoopee cushion. And that's it. They didn't put anything else in here. Uh, one of the most bare bones uh, blurbs we've ever had in the Classic Superstars line. So, uh, interesting there. Uh, to me, I do prefer the first version of Doink that we unboxed in, what was that, Series 9? Series 9 off the top of my head? That one I do prefer. But let's get this Doink out of the package. See what's going on with this old clown. We're not clowning around unboxing him. I don't think at least. Oh, there it is. Whoa. Went all the way. Went all the way with this one. There it is. See you later up high. Goodbye. And off to the races. Doink the Clown. Look at him. Looking only like a doink could look if he was a clown. Yeah, there you go. Tag team title, of course. Pop him out. There he is. And see you later. Goodbye. Tag team title. We've seen it before. We'll see it again. Not sure why this got here. If they just said, hey, let's pack a title belt in. Let's throw it in. Not exactly sure of the reasoning for that, but we do get the tag title belt. Now we get Doink out of the uh, package here, and he looks good. He looks very sadistic, very scary, very evil. Uh, before there was Dan Housen, there was Doink the Clown. Eh, maybe not. Who knows? Uh, but very cool. Always like the hair sculpt with the green. Got the white mask with the white face paint, the red on the nose. Definitely all day long. You know this is Doink the Clown. You're not confusing this for the Ultimate Warrior, or you better not, or I'm taking your wrestling card away. Uh, but it's got, of course, Doink the Clown. He does got a sculpted-in tie. Would have been cool to get a soft goods tie, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe not. But you do got kind of that painted-on uh, vest piece thing Doink was wearing. Uh, orange and blue throughout. You got black knee pads, black elbow pads, black shoes. Uh, he's got very Terry Funk S tights on going on there. Just a different color, of course. But a very good representation of Doink. Like I said, I do prefer the earlier version just because when I think of Doink, I think more of that. Uh, but this is classic in its own way as well. And, of course, this is the evil Doink. And you got to watch out for those evil clowns. Uh, they'll murder, murder you and bury you under your basement. Under their basement, I should say. Uh, you just got to be careful for those evil clowns. They're around. They're around. There's more of them than you think there is. That's what I'm going to say right there. Uh, but Doink, a very, very good figure. You stand next to Adam Bomb. Uh, Height-wise, about the same. Adam Bomb's a little bit taller. He should be a lot taller. Uh, but it is what it is. Scale was not a thing, as we always say back back in this Jax days. Uh, there was scale, but it wasn't like it is in this day and age. And you got to always remember that when you take that big old step back to the future or to the past. There's always going to be things that are a little bit different. But not too shabby. I don't think you can go wrong with either of these figures. Adam Bomb and Doink, two classics in the classic superstars era. So makes sense to me. Sure, why not? Uh, but what do you guys think about Doink the Clown and Adam Bomb? All in, all out? Uh, a lot of people, I think, would like an Adam Bomb elite-style figure. I've, I've been championing it for a while. Hopefully, one of these days, we get something. And if not, Chella Toys, let's get us that uncensored line, Adam Bomb. You're already working with him. It just uh, makes all the sense in the world. But we'll see what happens. And Stay tuned to the channel. I guess we'll talk about that when that day does come. But let me know your thoughts down below on these. Don't forget to like the video. You made it this far. Subscribe to the channel. Every Tuesday, we have Jack's Classic videos here on the channel. Don't forget about the old Patreon. You can get videos like this way earlier than traditional YouTube. Bonus content, exclusive content, and a whole lot of fun over there on the old Patreon. And best of all, you do support the channel. You can also support the channel at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And then don't forget to follow along on social media, SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for Dwight the Clown and Adam Bomb, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.